In this video, we will learn about user roles and user management. We will learn how to invite a user, assign to him or her a role, or even how to create a custom role suitable for your team. Afterward, we will see how these role constraints are implemented in the database and their reflection on it. We will also use some of the most common case scenario with Linux user management functions, and by the end of the tutorial, your database will be more protected and better organized. Let us start. If you want to add a new member to our team, we need to click on Invite and then enter the email address of the user who will be joining our team. Now we can define access rights. By default, we can select between admin or editor. If we have a professional or enterprise license, then we can also create new role. For this purpose, we will create a new role, Development. Okay, now we will send the email of invitation to this new team member and we can select the language of the email. We click Send Invitation and on the right side bar under Invitation, we will see the list of the pending invitations we have sent. A moment the user accepts our invitation, he will become the member of our team and his name will be listed here under the members. Okay, now we can open our management system database and set constraints based on a user roles. To manage rights for team members, you need to activate the administration mode on the top right corner. And um, you should understand that uh, the rights can be set on three levels on the database database level, table level, and field level. Our first case, it's on the database level. In our security tab, we have a list where we can apply rights. Let's say we want only admin to be able to export the data. We will choose admin and we will save our changes. Now only admin will have right to export data. Another interesting case can be implementation of the user management role to a trigger after open. For this, we will use a function user has role. We created a variable my user and with the help of if then else statement we will give a command to ninox to perform an action if some condition is true if the user opening this database has a role development then the tab chart will be open else if the user has role admin then the tab form will be open, else all will be open. And we are finishing with the open table function and we are specifying the table name, invoices and the tab, what is safe for us under the all these conditions, the variable my user. Pretty cool, right? If you would like to specify your settings, you can manage the user rights for every single table and for every data attribute. But please take care of the constraints and always have in mind your data architecture. Meaning, be careful if you are applying rules on the parent 
and on the child table at the same time. Please keep your rights clean and easy to remember. Our second case is on the tape level. Often admins would like to restrict visibility of data so users can see only the content they have created themselves. Here is how you can do that. You open a table and you edit the writable if field. We will use a user function. A user function returns the current user value. So our constraint says that table it's readable if the user was the one who created the content or if the user is admin. Easy, right? Our third case is connected to the field level. Very straightforward. We can set constraint directly here in the field allowed to read, allowed to write, or writable if. But I would like to show you one very cool case. Let's say we as admin would like to have a overview, a simple overview in the table view of who entered what to the database. So on the field level, in the table view, we are going to use a conditional styling, conditional formatting, and user management functions. We will create rule. As an option, we will choose a formula. And this formula is going to be user has role and we will define that this user who created the content he is development And the background should be pink. Pretty cool, right? Then you can, of course, add as many rules as roles you have, and you will have very simple overview defining with the color who created what in your database. Amazing! In this tutorial, we have learned a lot. Now we know how to add a user, how to create a new role, and how to implement the user role constraints on the database, table, and field level. We are familiar with some of the user management functions like user, user has role, or user its admin, to name few. Now your database is starting to be properly managed by the admin and you have a full control over visibility in your database. Congrats! Ninox.